if Maghrib Salah time happens to be during two hours offline coaching class, then how should I pray my Salah? I am the only Muslim in the class. There is no mosque nearby, neither any clean place to offer Salah. My parents think the coaching class is more important than Salah, so, can, so I cannot change my tutor. Is it allowed to pray among non-Muslims being the only non-Muslim there? Please give me advice. Brother has basically asked three questions. That he has tuition classes which is offline, that is on-site. And he's only Muslim and all the others are non-Muslims. How should you offer a salah? Number class, where all the non-Muslims are there. Yes, you can very well go out of the class in the corridor or anywhere else where the place is clean and it is dry. You can take out a sajjada and put it put in the direction of Qibla and you can pray. Regarding a question, a basic question coming to it, that you have your online classes during two hours during Maghrib time and your parents are telling it's not and the, class, the classes are more important than the Salah and your parents are completely wrong. The knowledge of Islam will be weak. The Salah is the most important deed for a Muslim. The first deed that Allah will ask you on the day of judgment according to the hadith of the Prophet is regarding your Salah. And the Prophet said the difference between Iman and Kufr is Salah. So Salah is the most important deed you cannot miss it at any cost as long as you are an adult and you are a Muslim and you are a gent. If you are adult, if you are sane, if you are conscious, there is no way you can miss any of your salah. It is not permitted. Except for the women while menstruation, while postpartum, etc. They are not permitted to pray. But otherwise, for an adult Muslim and you are a boy, of 18 years, you are in a rare exception. Or maybe if you are having an examination and during that examination your salah time is there, maybe maghrib and really you have a maghrib. At that time you can join your maghrib and isha salah. But you ask me the question, for your tuition, this excuse is not valid. Neither for joining your prayers, neither for missing your salah. You cannot miss your salah at all. You cannot. You have to pray and preferably in Jamaat in a mosque because you are a man, you are a boy. So praying in Jamaat and praying in the mosque is a fard. Once in a while, okay, once in a blue moon, if you cannot pray in the mosque in Jamaat, maybe you have tuition once in a blue moon and you pray alone in your sajjada or while you are traveling, it is accepted. But not regularly. If you have tuition every day or few days a week, it is not accepted that you miss the Jamaat. Leave us and missing the, the prayer. You can't miss, you cannot join. These are not excuses. And regarding your parent telling you that tuition is more important than salah, the knowledge of Islam is weak. You have to obey your parents, but if your parents tell you to do something against Allah and Rasul, that is the time you don't have to obey them. And that's mentioned in the Quran. In Surah mentioned in Surah Luqman, chapter number 31, verse number 15, that if the parents do jihad or struggle to make you worship somebody else besides Allah, you don't have to obey them. But yet live with them in love and companionship. So if your parents tell you, don't offer salah, you don't have to obey them. You have to tell them, obeying Allah is more important than obeying your parents. Allah and His Rasul comes much higher than your parents. If they tell you to do something which is not against Allah and His Rasul, which is not against Quran and Sayyidith, that time you can obey them. Praying Salah is very important, more important than your tuitions, etc. So see to it, what I would request you to do is that since it's your tuition, you change the tuition. Okay, maybe that tutor is the best. Okay, go for the second best. Go for the third best. But you cannot miss Salah under any circumstances. This is important. So, I would request you to change your tuition, go to the second best or the third best. Even if you have to fail in the examination, no problem, because this examination of the life 
for the hereafter is more important. Allah says in Surah Mul chapter number 16 and verse number 2, Allah di khalaq al mawta wal hayata. Allah has created death and life to test which of you is good in deeds. So this test of your life for the akhirah is more important than the examination of your school or junior college or your bachelor's degree. Hope that answers the question.